Welcome back to GB Guns. We've got a very cool one in here from Auto Ordnance, the Victory Girls Special Edition Custom 1911. Coming up next on GB Guns. So we have a nice cardboard box with a dense foam liner, manual, and a Sonora Desert Institute add support from car as well as uh, catalog let's take a look inside see you so the car arms accessories etc parts owner's manual reference the warranty here's the manual good thick paper we have actual real photos and your standard gray, white, and black. Gray, red, white, and black illustrations. Sorry, long day. It's nicely done. Of course, the gun itself came in this bag with a warning and the safety flag. I've already removed that because I was excited to get my hands on this. Get the packaging out of the way and we'll take a look at the Auto Ordnance Victory Girls 1911. Isn't that cool? Alright, I'll check for clear first. Alright, we're good. Magazine definitely ejects. US made magazine. Standard flush bottom. And let's take a look around the gun. Starting up front, we've got our standard black bushing, black barrel. This nice Cerakote paint contrasts nicely on there. GI, I'd say an improved GI style front sight post, if you will. Uh, it's slightly better than the mound that had been on there. And then, of course, the real show is this really cool sort of World War II airplane looking uh, riveted panel with the lady on that side and, of course, the old US symbol. No rail, sorry folks. No serrations, no ch checkering on there. This is a GI 1911 with a really cool paint job. Nice rich wood US grips. You can see they even went to the trouble of doing that panel look on the front strap. Standard non-extended safety and beaver tail. The basic mainspring housing with the lanyard loop. Classic style hammer. We'll take a look at rear slide to frame fit. I can't get any movement out of that. Nice and tight. There's your sight picture. Very rudimentary. And then coming around the right side, we've got more paneling effect. Another US emblem. And the Victory Girl kicking the leg up. It's a good looking gun. We'll see trigger feel and then uh, field strip this. So of course you got to depress that safety and without it being extended you got to really make sure you have your hand on there. Safety itself is I'd say slightly improved from the basic GI. It's got good nice positive detent and it's thick enough that it's probably not going to cut into your hand. I had a GI 1911 and it really chewed the underside of my thumb for a long time going up and down on that. Little bit of take up, little movement, and break. So your essential standard basic 1911. Short reset, and break again, as expected. We know the outside's good looking. Let's field strip this and take a look at the inside. All right, so to field strip this guy, and to be honest with you, I've actually already shot it. So it might be a little dirty in there. To start, and I'll do it the classic way that everyone seems to want. Push down on the spring. We're gonna rotate the bushing enough to let all this out. That is under pressure, so be cautious when doing that. Pull the spring out, then 
the bushing has to be rotated. You can see the tab in there. Can't quite get the light in there. But there's a, a spot that uh, frees it up in there. We'll worry about that in a second. I'm going to take the slide off the frame by moving the slide back until that little relief there clears our slide stop slide release. Then you push on the pin from the other side. And now you can take the slide right off. There's our guide rod. Let's see about getting that piece off. Seems to not want to come out. I have to wrestle with this a little Zoom bit and try to get some light in there for you. There's a tab on the back side of this bushing. You gotta wiggle it back and forth. This is a very snug fit, but really requires some pulling. That's out. Now we can get our barrel out, out the front. Let me wipe this down once more for you, and then we can take a look at right, construction. So starting off with the slide in that beautiful Victor girl that's painted on there and sort of etched. There's a little bit of relief there. Looking on the inside, you can see it's an 80 series. It does have that safety. You can also see the serial number, which matches the serial number on the frame. It's a good sign. Otherwise, a basic GI 1911 look there. Our barrel has chromed hood and lugs. Also a bit of a polish and chrome to the feed ramp. That's indicative of a gun that should run well. Looking at our frame, got some nice polish there. A little bit of dirt left still. Wipe that out. There we go. Real solid, real classic GI 1911. Let me put this back together. And yes, I went off camera there for a second to. Uh, Pull this in closer to me instead of working on it out in front of me like I normally do. Simply uh, because I don't want to scratch this thing. I and mean, look at it, it's beautiful. Ooh, stiff. So now that it's back together, I'll get it out to the range. We'll do our full mag plus one, of course, as well as the what's for dinner test and do some field accuracy through these itty bitty sights. Five shots from seven yards. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are of how these sights are going to do and how this gun's going to do. It is my first from Auto Ordnance. We'll see you on the range. Thanks for watching.